what do I feel like doing now? Talking to my you, obviously. I met my way to the music room. I finally convinced Mayu we should expand the band, and we're holding auditions for our newest member. After Mayu played for me the first time, she loosened up a lot, and we've been jamming regularly together. I found a flyer for our local musicians. The community is sponsoring a talent night for both bands and solo artists. I know Mayu and I are ready to compete, and after much cajoling, I get her to agree to sign up. The only problem is a band is considered three or more people. Neither one of us wants to perform alone, so the only thing left to do is recruit a third member. I guess somebody else is going to be stepping in on my private time with Mayu. This is bullshit. Mayu is already setting up the music room when I arrive. Hey Mayu. She pauses and smiles when she sees me. Oh, I love Mayu's smile. It's just so bright. It makes me happy. Yeah, I did. I mean, of course you made it, but you're early, which is nice. N -n -n not that I think you can't be early to things, but... It's okay. Calm down. <laughs> her voice fades and she drops her glaze. I'm just happy to hang out with you. I'm a little nervous, too. Mayu flashes me an appreciative smile. Jackhammer! You're smarter than me. <laughs> I mean, in this one instance, most of the time you're... A stupid, stupid man. But this time, I'll admit that I was like, ah, she's just shy and whatever. And you're like, ah, oh, she's nervous. I didn't even think about that because I'm dumb. I hope we find someone good. Nah, they can't be better than us. Same here. There will only be singers auditioning today, right? Yeah, I think having a vocalist would best complement our sound. Mayu nods. I agree. I help her move some of the clutter to the corner of the room, and I set up a lawn table of chairs in the middle of the room for us to sit. This is the judges' table, and we are the judges. Maya sits at a table, while I poke my head out of the hall. Will the first audition please enter the room? As I return to my seat, a short student with slicked black hair walks in. He's changed out of his uniform, and his shirt hangs loosely over his small frame. I squint to get a better look and notice his shirt is decorated with all types of footwear, sandals, flip-flops, etc. This is going to be interesting. I'm scared. Mai's brow is furrowed as she wears a hesitant smile. She seems just as apprehensive as I am. Hello, what's your name? The boy wears a groovy grin. A grin. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill Hain. This is spoofing something, but I don't know what. What are you going to sing today? Oh, you do have a voice. <laughs> she humps? What? Mayu and I glanced at each other. That was a popular song back when we were kids. Okay. I nod. Whenever you're ready. Bill flashes us another lopsided grin. As he belts out a tune, he begins to bounce on his knees and stiffly jerk his hips from side to side. He sings in a monotone and his cadence feels almost robotic. Paired with his strange dancing, it reminds me of someone gaining use of their limbs for the first time. <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. I glance over at Mayu, who has a forced smile frozen at her face. Her eyes seem almost panicked. Finally, he finishes and waits expectantly for our feedback. You suck! <laughs> uh, maybe this middle option. Alright, dog, I gotta be real with ya. I was kind of feeling it, but I wasn't really feeling it. You feel me? I have no idea what the fuck you're saying, Jackhammer. <laughs> Bill stares stoically as I give him my feedback, then looks expectantly at Mayu. She fidgets under his gaze as she tries to find something to say. Um, well, it was... You were very brave to sing in front of us, and I think it's great that you did. That's savage. <laughs> I, uh... Um... You did it! You did a thing! Good for you for doing that thing. She nods, seemingly satisfied with her review. I'm about to dismiss him when someone else interrupts me. What? Excuse me, but are you in the wrong room? This audition is for sales. I'm not sure what you thought you were doing up there, but it certainly was not seen. <laughs> fuck is this guy? Simon Colwell. 
American Idol spoof. Another student sits beside Mayu. He's wearing an ace uniform without teal stripes, so he isn't a pilot. Mayu merely glances over at the student, but otherwise doesn't react to his presence. Maybe he's one of her music friends. She must have asked him to sit in on our auditions and help us judge who would be a good fit. I think he's just some random fucking dude who showed out of nowhere. Despite the new guy's scathing comments, Bill doesn't seem phased. Uh, I did my very best, and that's all I could have done. Good for you, Bill! <laughs> I have no professional training, but I am very glad of my performance. Who the hell is this spoofy? I don't know this guy. <laughs> Mayu smiles encouragingly. That's great. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> That's great. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, thanks. We'll be in touch. Mayu friend crosses his arms and waits for Bill to leave. Once Bill leaves, he is immediately replaced by another student. He's still in an ace uniform, but contrastly, his long dark hair falls to the mid back and covers one eye. Hi, my name is Slasher and. Singing an original song I wrote myself. This could be very good or very bad, but it's probably not the first one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, look how like bright and cheerful Mayu is. He cuts up Maya in the middle of her greeting and screams in a hoarse voice. <gasps> you did not just cut off Maya, you piece of shit! <laughs> Mayu's face. She's like, hi! And uh, she's like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh god. I scream over Slasher before my ears literally begin to bleed. <laughs> Thank you! I think we've heard enough. Mayu's eyes are wider than I've ever seen. <laughs> and she flinches every time Slasher bel belts out a word. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Oh, she's too sweet. Though, she's about to explode. I can just tell. This guy needs to get out of here. Her friend clamps his hands over his ears and cringes in pain. Stop for the sake of our sanity. <laughs> Slasher finally quiets down, but looks confused. Are you trying to turn us all into raving psychopaths? Because the only effect constant yelling has on me is making me angry. You know, I hate to agree with Simon, but I agree with Simon. I don't really like screaming in songs. Also, that song that you wrote by yourself that was supposed to be all deep and whatever, it wasn't. What? I haven't even gotten to the killing part yet. Here, listen. <laughs> She's a killing? Okay, you get out of here. No, get out! Mayu and I shout simultaneously. No! <laughs> Told you Mayu was about to explode. <laughs> Don't push around the nice person, okay? Slasher pauses again. Mayu's friend looks like he's about to speak again, but we silence him with death glares. I think Jackhammer would be this last one here. That was quite possibly the worst scene I've ever heard. I would say more, but I can't hear myself over the ringing in my ears. <laughs> In response, Slasher opens his mouth, ready to belt out another line. Mayu immediately stops him. Wait! Your song is definitely very original, but it's not quite the direction we're going for this band. His song wasn't original at all! You're just lucky Mayu's nice. Whatever. You guys can't even begin to comprehend my genius. No, because it left us deaf! <laughs> Slasher turns on his heel and walks out of the room. I breathe a sigh of relief, but brace myself for the next audition. A girl walks in. She's wearing her ace uniform and has her dark hair pulled back into a messy ponytail. She seems normal so far, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Hello. She smiles warmly and waves. Hi, my name is Mitsuki. Mitsuki. Mayu seems hopeful. Feel free to begin whenever you're ready. Yep. Mitsuki nods and takes a deep breath. Her voice shakes as she sings the soft melody, but grows in power as she gains confidence. I think Mitsuki and Mayu are going to really hit it off, so this will probably be our scener. Mayu and I blink at each other. She's actually good. I close my eyes 
and find myself getting lost in Mitsuki's voice. Before long, her song is done. Mitsuki waits nervously for her feedback. Mayu stands to her feet. So suddenly, her chair wobbles. Well, Mayu is really randomly energetic. <laughs> Okay, I think we have a winner. Mitsuki blushes at Mayu's praise. Thank you. Mm hmm. What Mayu said. Yep. I couldn't agree more with what Mayu said. That was a beautiful performance that I didn't actually hear because that last guy left me deaf, but wh whatever. Mitsuki breaks into a wild, wide smile. The random guy raises a hand. Excuse me, but what was that? What? Mitsuki blinks, obviously confused. I'm not sure what this guy's talking about either. This good shy girl's act is so played out. Where's the confidence, the fire, and for God's sake, have you ever heard of a cold? Well, that's just kind of rude. Mitsuki runs her hands through her hair. I, oh. I'm sorry. My last class was physical education, and I was running a little late. Who the fuck is this guy? Huh? What's with your friend? He's kind of a jerk. <laughs> What? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing in here? It's that same look of horror on Mayu's face. I hate to say it, but I love that. <laughs> Mayu has the best expressions. We stare at each other for a second, then focus our attentions on the mystery, mystery guy. Uh, hey. He glances over at us. Who are you? Excuse me? You heard me, right? He pulls the face of disgust. How dare you know who I am? I have no fucking idea, that's why I asked. No. <laughs> Mayu shakes her head. The guy scoffs. Uh, clearly, I have made a terrible mistake. You peasants wouldn't know greatness if it bit you in the ass. Oh, <gasps> he swore! <laughs> I mean, I'm not one to talk or anything, but damn! With a loud sniff of disdain, he swagaliciously exits the room. <laughs> And now that's a word. Awkward. Yep. So, um, did I pass? Yes. We would love for you to join in our band. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We have your information, so we'll let you know when our next practice will be, and hopefully we'll see you there. Yay, we have another person in our band. Thank you. Yes, I'll be there. Okay, thank you again. Grinning from ear to ear, Mitsuki practically skips out of the room. Oh. <laughs> it's strange that I feel kind of nervous. Nope, I feel nervous as shit. <laughs> How come? I don't know. I'm really excited. I'm already getting ideas for new pieces that will incorporate her voice. Uh oh. So I don't know why I'm so nervous. Because you're excited and happy and stuff. It's probably because. After how bad those previous auditions were, you're hoping this good audition isn't a fluke. Maybe. Whoa. Whoa, my <laughs> That's devilish right there. Like those eyebrows. She smiles at me. We should probably clean up. I think our reserve time is running out. Yep. Okay. After Mayu and I clean up the music room, we part ways so we can go to class. I can't wait to see what kind of music the three of us will create together. It shall be beautiful, or something, maybe. I'm in the pilot's lounge, watching the Japan vs. China gear playoff match. The lounge is packed with students, as this is a highly anticipated game. Many show at the TV, but I watch in silence, sipping my drink and enjoying the ambiance. Exciting game, right? Who is this mystery guy that I can't see? Oh, it's this dude. The guy who gets all the frickin' ladies! I'm handsome too. Moving on. I glance up in surprise, but not. Akira grins and sits down in the seat across from me. Though he seems like a nice guy, we don't talk very often, so it's unusual he'd approach me. I suppose I do have a really good view of the TV, though. A stream of boos and yells fill the room as China takes out one of Japan's gears. People are really getting into it this time. Yeah, it was predicted that this year China was going to be a strong opponent for Japan. 
and it looks like that's coming true. Is that why there's such a big turnout? I gesture to the crowded room. Akira nods. This is the first year that China's even made it this far in the playoffs. Everyone's watching to see who will come out on top. What? Who do you think will win? He doesn't even hesitate. Japan. All right. What do you think? Um, I think Japan still has the better gears at this point in the story. So Japan, definitely Japan. China may be catching up, but their technology hasn't reached the same innovative standards as Japan. Plus, this year's lineup is completely new team, so they don't have a, the same player advantage as Japan's season team. I agree. Yep, that's very logical reasons. He gives me a long look. I wonder what he's thinking. Speaking of matches, I believe congratulations are in order for you and your team. Me? Your team is still holding the number one spot on the leaderboards. Sure, mm. but you guys are quickly catching up. You started out at rank 21, but you've already made it to rank 11. Yeah, that's actually really impressive. <laughs> Damn, this guy! He's nice, he's charming, and he's freaking handsome as all hell! Ah! I can't compete! Yeah, it's kind of weird to think about it. And we're going against an even better team this week since Strike X got disqualified. Yeah, the school is taking no chances with them. What the heck happened? What do you mean? I care blinks. You didn't hear? No. The team lead and one of his starting pilots got into a huge fight. Oh. He did not hold back. I mean, mm. there were some serious injuries, so both members obviously couldn't compete. Why did they fight? The leader decided to sideline his starting pilot, and his pilot didn't like that. They're on the same team. Couldn't they just talk it out? I'm sure the leader had a reason. Akira shrugged. I don't know all the details, but my guess is that they're probably wasn't a good reason to sideline the pilot. Either way, because the fight escalated to the degree in which Ace had to get involved, the school is currently investigating the team. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> that's crazy stuff. Yeah. So who are you going up against now? Excuse me. An all-girls team. Obi. Yeah, I already said I'm not saying that word again. Oh, May's team. May? Yeah, I hear they're strong. Kira nods. They are. But so are you. In fact, I'm really looking forward to my match with you. Whoa, this guy is just... He's... Um... He's coming off kind of strong there. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm comfortable. I mean, you're good looking. And you give me weird feelings in my tummy, but... um. <clears throat> That might still be a while, considering my team's rank. Right, but you guys have been on a winning streak, haven't you? Yep. Mm-hmm. Because of that, your matchmaking rating, or MMR, is actually higher than your earned rank. That tends to happen with outliers like being an undefeated team. Huh. Now that's just all weird and technical stuff. What he says makes sense. Plus, I'm not going to question Akira about how being undefeated works. I have a feeling. You beat Ona Bugeisha. It won't be long before we face each other on the field. Ona Bugeisha. There we go. Why couldn't I figure that out on my own? No, Jackhammer is like this guy. Don't get too comfortable in that number one spot. Akira Mili smiles. We continue to watch the game in silence. After a while, Akira stands. I wish I could watch the end of this match, but I've got to head to class. I'll see you later. Yep, peace. I nod. After Akira leaves, I check my phone and notice a text from a show. Don't forget, tomorrow we'll be getting our game on at the beach. Meet there at 1. <gasps> We're going to the beach with Mayu! Woo! As if I could forget that, I forgot about it. <laughs> then I shove my phone back into my pocket and watch the rest of the game. In the end, Japan won with just one gear left standing. Ooh, good job. I still got some time before I head home tonight. We can hang out with Scholar Valerie. And this is where I'm going to end off the episode. You guys let me know who the heck you want to see me hang out with next time. And I hope you've enjoyed this bit of the dragon's treasure. Pretend a like is a bike and drop it. If you haven't already, I appreciate if you showed that sub and bell button some love. And don't forget, Sherry is caring. Stay beautiful!